Hello, welcome back to the workbench. Today, we are taking a look at the WL Toys 144001 four-wheel drive 114th scale RC car. guy is fully assembled from the factory. We ordered it a couple of weeks ago off of banggood.com. We will put a link in the description down below if you want to get your own. Uh, it's less than a hundred bucks. It's quite the bargain. Everybody's talking about them online. So we figured let's check out and get one for ourselves. Took, uh, like I said, a couple weeks to come. Came packaged pretty well. I mean, the box is a little banged up, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape. We take a look at the box. It's telling us it's got a motor, shocks, it's good for climbing, the picture's for reference only. You know, it's got what you'd expect, a whole bunch of warnings in all different languages, just to be careful. It tells us that it's 114th scale, four wheel drive. I believe it is shaft driven. We will take a look when we get in there. Um, we did order the green and blue one, so it's good to see that is what's checked off. It's telling us it is a professional large torsion propeller. Okay, well, you know, we'll look for that. Uh, definitely a large capacity, rechargeable battery, uh, powerful high-speed motor, and the RC system is included. That must be the RC system they are talking about. Looks like your typical, you know, ready to run, inexpensive radio control, but that's fine. So why don't we take a look at this guy? It's opened up. Let's uh, check out what comes in the box. Let's see how it's assembled. And let's, uh, if the weather holds out, let's charge this guy up and put it through its paces. So let's check out the box. All right, so looking at this guy here, we've got the box, like I said, let's open him up. What are we looking at here? So as you can see, it's really well packaged. Can't really see much there. Looks like we've got a sheet here. This is, oh, a charger. We've got, looks like we've got a wheel a nut wrench there. We've got instructions. It is the green and blue one, like we ordered. Very, very cool. Take a look at that. Looks to be in perfect condition there. Let's see how we can uh, open this guy up here. All right, this comes out here. More packaging. This guy comes out here. More packaging. Oh, and look at this guy. Oh, it is so small. Look at that. It's adorable, this little thing. It's got a good heft to it. The shocks here, they seem to move. Nothing is a problem. Look at that guy. Got an aluminum chassis, look how nice this is. Everything looks to be super well put together. Let's see what else we got in here. Put him down. Uh, just more packaging. And this guy here looks to be, I can only imagine is our radio here. There we've got our ready to run radio. All right, it's a little light, but you know, I bet it'll work fine. So I'm going to take some double A's down here. We'll have to put some of those guys in. Yep, have to play with that a little bit, but okay. Got your trim. Looks like there's different modes and on and off. Okay. So let's take a look at this little guy here. Take off the body clips. I haven't seen the battery, so I'm assuming the battery for the car is inside the car. Oh, yes it is. Look at that. Got little Dean's connectors there. A little Velcro strap to keep it together. I believe it came with a little 2S LiPo here. Yeah, look at this guy. 7.4, 1500 mAh. Yeah, look at this little guy. Please turn on the power switch and unplug the battery connector. So we will have to uh, charge this little guy up. And check it out. When you're looking here, it's got a brushed motor. I believe it has some sort of receiver ESC combo. See what kind of shape we are talking about right out of the box, but uh, let's get this guy going. Let's charge up some stuff, huh? So we look at it. All the wheels seem to spin pretty well. A little, little bit of noise there, we'll have to check that out. Yeah, I see that there is a red, it looks like a red uh, steer, you know, shaft in there to drive them. We've got turnbuckles here that look adjustable. We have silver dog bones. Feels pretty good when I look at it. All in all, 
seems to be a pretty, uh, a pretty decently put together car. You know, it looks like the back definitely will go lower than the front. The way it's set up, or maybe not. No, it's pretty level. Okay, doesn't bottom out. So from the factory, seems to be put together pretty well. Got some batteries here we can stick in the charger. Oh, we got a light, okay. So we should probably read the instructions and see if we need to bind this thing or do anything special to it. It says 114 electric four wheel drive climbing car. All right, well, it's kind of exciting. at all. No, 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 how do we get this setting up? Proportional RC using instruction. These are the tools, practice, and maintenance. Turn the model on the car, gently hook remote control and trigger to observe the common floor, turn the remote control. Yeah, that's the only kind of binding we need to worry about. Oh, look, it's got instructions on how to put things, take things apart, put them back together. That's pretty cool. Yeah, how the wheels are, how everything goes together. Look at that. I have full instruction manual for this guy. Okay, cool. I was not expecting it to be this detailed. This is great. Shows you how to explore the parts that you need. Look at that, what you can get. I'm sure there are tons of pop-up parts for this guy on banggood.com as well. Look at all these things. Okay, well that's everything that went into this package. So right now we're just gonna let it charge for a little while. And then once it's done charging, we will, uh, we will race it. Okay, we are all done charging. So let's put the battery in this guy and see how it runs. Okay, here we go. This guy's gonna work. So let's turn this guy on. Guess we just turn this button on. Okay. Huh. Trim. Trim. Oh yeah. That's pretty straight. Look at that. All right. We will have to. Uh, Like it works. Let's put it on the ground and see how she runs. Like we have already knocked a dog bone out and knocked a ball end off. Let us uh, let's take a look at that, huh? One little light smack into a curb, and already this thing has come apart. Doesn't look like we broke it, but it definitely came apart. So let's take this inside and see if we can fix it quickly. It appears that one little tiny bounce into a curb that we may not have even caught on camera. Knocked out our dog bone here and disconnected that guy. So, all right, he seems to be back in. And that guy is back attached. So, seems to have uh, fixed our little problem. All right, let's bring him back outside. Let's maybe uh, do a couple jumps and see what we got from this guy.
Oh, so I do not know how to jump properly. That's something we'll be working on in this channel. Oh, hopefully you can see this rugged little car. It moves around, does okay. I mean, we got a lot of leaves right here that are like twice the size of this little guy. But, he seems to be doing okay. Upside down again. Oh. So, not so good at the jumping I am. Oh, we lost the wheel. Let's see if that popped off again. Looks like it did. Yep, same thing. Looks like the dog bone. This guy keeps popping off, so that's something we're gonna have to look at. See if maybe there needs to be an upgrade or something there to make that guy. You know, of course, we could also upgrade the driver, so perhaps the driver stops uh, crashing into the curb. That. Uh, that could be part of it too. Let's see if we can get this guy back on. He doesn't seem to want to, there we go. All right, looks like it's all back together. This little guy performed admirably. Had a blast. Doesn't seem like anything's wrong with it. Everything's still working great. We did have the ball end come off here and off here. We knocked the dog bone out in the back just a little bit, but really not a big deal. I mean, it really was my fault for crashing into the curb quite a few times. You know, it's a 14th scale, so it did have a little trouble with the big sticks and all the leaves in the yard because it's little, but it's got some weight to it. Seems to perform admirably. It is a great little car. I think we are gonna take a look at this again and in another video, let's try and soup this guy up and see how fast we can get it and really make it race great. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can keep making content like this.